So the rate law is going to describe the effect of concentration. So how you change the concentration affects the rate of the reaction. So the rate law that we're going to be writing describes the relationship between the rate of the reaction and the concentration of the reaction. Now there's a big assumption here that we're going to absolutely shatter in future chapters, but not yet. This assumes, so if this is a rate question, you get to make this assumption. I'm not going to throw a wrench at you. It's a completely different calculation. But so this assumes the rate of the reverse reaction is very slow. So this assumes we're only going forward and we're not going backwards. That'll change when we do equilibrium, but not yet. Now, when you write a rate law, the rate law is always going to be in this format, rate equals. So you would say rate equals, and it is K, this is a lowercase k, times the concentration of something. And an exponent n. No, it's not. It's just in brackets. So lowercase k is going to be what we refer to as the rate constant. Learn it, know it, love it, the rate constant is not going away. We're going to use it all the time. If you don't believe me, ask somebody who's already had organic. We've already been through this. The rate constant does not go away. In is what we are going to refer to as the reaction order. Conceptual questions, the rate order may be weird. When we are calculating, for our calculation purposes, N is always going to be 0, 1, or 2. Those are the ones we're going to talk about. You can have half orders, you can have three halves orders, you can have the fourth orders. Um, so, a conceptual question may have that, but when we calculate 0, 1, and 2. Now, a reaction order to figure out what N is, we can only determine that by doing an experiment in the lab. And so, it determines how the rate depends on the concentration of the reactant in the lab, and then you calculate it, you compare experimental rates. So we gotta put it on this. So the way you the way you calculate it is you do rate two over rate one equals rate constant, concentration of A reaction order, so this is concentration of A in the second one, K, concentration of A in the end for the first one. So it's just a proportion. You're going to know the rate, the rate, the concentration, the concentration, K will cancel out, and then you can use a log to solve for reaction order. If you're in lab, do this. Did everybody get that written? Did they give you enough time? Not yet. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this graphically. Now, how the graphs look depends on what you are graphing. So, if you have a reaction 
where you're doing where you're measuring the reactant concentration versus time which is generally the first thing you're going to do in the lab if you graph it and it is a straight line order if you graph it and it is like a little subtle curve second order or first order and if it's a steeper curve Gradual curve. Inverse of a second order. We don't do this very much. This is the one that, that I that, that I tend to look at. This is the zero order, this is the first order, this is the second order. So you can use this information to determine what the rate is, and then you make a second graph that is the rate versus the reactant concentration. And if it's a flat line, it is zero order. If it is a straight line, the slope, it is first order. And if it looks like part of a parabola, it's second order. If you know anything about exponents, this makes perfect sense. It's not, it's not defying math. So now we're going to talk about each one of these individually, what it means, things like that. So we'll start with a zero order reaction. In a zero order reaction, it is concentration independent. The amount of the reactant that is available for the reaction is actually unaffected by changes in the overall quantity. So, like a good example of this would be if you were measuring the rate of something where you were doing like sublimation. So sublimation, you have a solid, you're measuring the rate that it goes to a gas. Does it matter if you're looking at the solid, if here's the solid, does it matter what's going on down at the bottom of the solid? No, only the ones at the surface matter. So if it's not at the surface, it can't become a gas. So they just kind of move on up. the rate will be expressed as K times the concentration of whatever you're measuring to the zero power. Now, we're going to go through this. You can look, you can see that even as concentration is changing, the rate does not change. So you, these are really easy to pick out. However, I'm going to show you the process for determining N. We're going to do this for all of these. So again, we're going to use our calculation of rate 2 over rate 1 equals rate constant concentration of A second one to the n, concentration of A, first one to the n. We're going to solve for n. So, two concentrations. Do we like the first two? Is anybody going to get mad if I just do the first two? It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is going to be Two, this is going to be one where I plug things in. I have to label it or I'm going to mess it up at some point. So the rate at reaction two is 0 0.015. Rate one, same thing. So 
We have rate constant K, just leave it in there for now. 0 0.20 again. Leave the rate constant in for now. Plug it in. These problems are not that hard. They just take a lot of time and paper. So if you learn the process, you can do it. So I know on something that's easy, you're like, this is stupid. I understand. I empathize. I have been in your chair. So, units cancel. Case cancel. We're left with one equals um, read in. Now, how do we solve? Oh, all right. So, yeah, yes, yeah. So, you solve it with a logarithm. So you say, and you can do natural logs if you want. I'm going to do base 10 logs, so whatever. Uh, equals 10 log 2. Everybody with me so far? We can solve logarithms. You can solve them multiple ways. This is my opinion, the easiest way. But I can follow your math, so it's okay. If you want to do your division first and then do the log, I'm okay with it. Base 10 of 1 is zero. Zero. 0 equals log 2. Log 2 doesn't matter. 0. Look, I told you it was a zero order. It's a zero order. If we graph it, it looks like this. It all makes sense. So, that was what we did. Now, let's write out what we did. So now, how do we write our rate law? Once the order of the reaction is determined, so we have determined this is a zero order reaction, you're going to substitute in any of the concentration initial um, rate pairs not done yet because we have to solve for K. We know the reaction order, now we have to solve for K. The rate constant K is not going away. So in this case, we're going to write it. We know it's going to be in the general formula of rate equals rate constant K times one of our concentrations, zero power. I haven't done anything yet. Now we're just going to plug and chug. So since the initial rate's all the same here, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to use the first one because I'm less likely to lose track of it. So for our first one, our initial rate is 0 0.015. When you're calculating the rate constant, put in your unit. So rate, molarity per second. K, and I'm using the first concentration. Again, you can use a different concentration. You will ultimately get the same answer. Equals 0 0.10 to the 0 power. It really doesn't matter because this is 1, right? We all agree that anything to the 0 power is 1, yes? Okay, good. I, w I, w I would be concerned for your mathematics if we do not agree with that. So that's one, it goes away. So the final piece of the puzzle here is the units for K in a zero order reaction are going to be molarity per second, or you may see it written as, it means the same thing, molarity seconds to the minus one. Means the same thing. It doesn't matter because it's going to go away. Because when we take molarity to zero power. Yes. All right. So 
Summarize. Zero order reaction. Rate is in the format K A to the zero. Plug in formula. Find out it's a zero order reaction. Then you plug in your pairs. Solve for K. Units for K are always going to be in molarity per second. Do you think this is easy? Really confused. Who wants to go home? Not yet. <laughs>